I am Anil Kumar. We will try to solve absolute function equation which has two absolute functions within it. So the equation for us is absolute value of x plus 4 minus absolute value of x minus 1 equals to 3. Now in this particular case, uh, let us first define both these absolute functions separately and then solve. So the first one is absolute value of x plus 4 which is equals to x plus 4 when x is greater than or equals to minus 4, right? That is when it is positive and it is equals to minus of x plus 4 when x is less than minus 4. How do we get this value minus 4? x plus 4 should be greater than 0 or we say it is 0 at minus 4. That is how you get it. Similarly, let us redefine absolute value of x minus 1. It is equals to x minus 1 if x is greater than what makes it 0? 1, right? So 1. And it is negative of x minus 1 when x is less than 1. So that tells you that we have to solve this equation in three different intervals, right? So we'll have three different intervals like this. Well, is from minus infinity to minus 4, right? And here we have interval from minus 4 to 1. Uh, we can include 1 in that interval also. Let us say, let's include minus 4 here and not 1, but we'll include 1 in this interval. So we say from 1 to infinity. So these are the three intervals. Based on that, our equation will slightly change. When we are talking about less than minus 4, this interval, in that case, we'll be taking negative signs for both. So this function will now be written as minus of x plus 4 instead of absolute x plus 4 minus x minus 1 also will be written as minus of so it becomes plus of x minus 1 equals to 3. In this particular interval when you are greater than equals to minus 4 first term of absolute function will be written as x plus 4 positive however the next term will be written as negative right so it is negative of negative will become positive x minus 1 equals to 3. Now in this interval both will be treated as positive so we have x plus 4 minus x minus 1 equals to 3. So you need to solve these three equations right. So when I solve this I get minus x plus plus minus becomes minus 4. Let's open the bracket so plus x minus 1 equals to 3 minus x plus x is 0 so we get minus 5 equals to 3 and that is not possible right so that is not possible so in this case there is no solution now here if I combine x we get 2x 4 minus 1 is 3 so we get plus 3 equals to 3 so we have 2x equals to 3 minus 3 so x is equals to let me write 0 and then x equals to 0 right so x equals to 0 is the solution of this particular within this interval and we see 0 is a point x equals to 0 is a valid point in this interval so that is fine when we solve this part we get x minus x which is 0 let me rewrite x plus 4 open the bracket minus x plus 1 equals to 3 so we get x minus x as 0 4 plus 1 is 5 5 equals to 3 which is not possible right so that is not true so we have only one solution and therefore our answer is x is equals to 0. Let us check it also. If I substitute 0 here, I get 4 minus absolute value of minus 1, which is 1. So 4 minus 1 is 3. So we checked and found that this is correct. So I hope that helps you to understand how to solve such equations. Thank you and all the best.